Uh, good evening, everyone. Welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to be doing the um, well-requested, uh, kids-friendly, sloppy Joe casserole. When I uh, uh, announced that I, I do a sloppy Joe casserole in my chicken enchilada um, uh, video, you guys left out in the comment uh, section that you wanted to see the uh, sloppy Joe recipe. And since it's all, uh, since it's almost uh, spring break time down this way, I said this would be a good time to get this recipe out to uh, mothers and grandmothers and aunts and aunts and uh, whatever friends that keep the kids over the uh, spring break. This would be a, a wonderful recipe for you to try if you like. Okay, what I'm going to do, I'm going to tell you the ingredients that you need in it and then I'm going to have to go over to the stove to uh, brown, brown the ground beef and then uh, I'm going to come back and show you how easy it is to mix it up. And this, the only reason this recipe might be a little long is because I take a little long. But if you was at in the comfort of your kitchen uh, mixing up or whipping up this recipe, it could be done uh, did in probably um, 20 minutes. Okay, so let me tell you what you're going to need. Uh, one pound of ground beef. And this is uh, two teaspoons of... Uh, here yeah, I go, Sint. Worcestershire sauce. As Sint can say on Sint and Mo, W sauce. And uh, then you're going to need, also going to need one, I think this is a 10 ounce can of the uh, condensed tomato soup. And uh, this is a, this is a, a fourth a cup, one fourth cup of ketchup. Whatever kind of tomato ketchup you use. And this is a, a can of Grand Biscuits, and I think it's about the four or five counts. But let me tell you guys something about this. When I originally start uh, making this recipe, I don't know if Grand's was out or I wasn't paying it any attention or whatever, but I, I didn't use Grand. I used just a regular little old inexpensive um, Pillsbury uh, Biscuits. And I, you know, I'll show you what, I'll show you where this is going to come into the, uh, in the picture but and I'll show you what I'm gonna do with it I'll get to that when I get to it and this is um a half a cup or either more of your cheese and use whatever cheese you like but I got the uh sharp cheddar right here and uh this is um I think a fourth a teaspoon of black pepper and a fourth a teaspoon of salt and this is one fourth, one fourth cup of water. And this is probably about a tablespoon or less of melted margarine. You're gonna use this to brush on the top of the biscuits. Like I said, I'll show you how what you know where all this and stuff gonna go in your recipe uh, when I get back. Okay, I got my oven turned on 400 degrees, and once I get the uh, casserole ready and put to put in the oven, it's only going to bake for 15 minutes uh, until the biscuit brown on top. So let me uh, go off and get my, go off over to my skillet and get everything mixed, I mean get it started, and my, let my husband set up over here. Guys, I'm not gonna get twisted up. I done had a little rest because I haven't been doing videos for for, for the past week. Uh, I had uh, some sadness in our family, but that's uh, that's that's how I, I spoke on it in the other video. I don't know which one coming up first. That's how that's why I had been being a little sad, but I'm getting better. You know, uh, trouble only endure for a day, and then joy comes in the morning. Okay, you guys, let me go off and uh, go over to my stove and let my husband get set up and be ready to uh, start the recipe. Okay, everybody, I got my ground beef already cooked up. Started to brown. I started to, uh, you know, just break that up. I started out, brown it out all the way because I got my oven on 400 preheating. And you know I told you guys this light is so hot. But let me tell you something else now. If you need to um 
increase this recipe, just double the double the recipe as to what this recipe asks him for. But when I start, when my son went off to college, I think my um uh, my daughter was about three or four years old. And y'all forgive me if I can't remember. I, I did, uh, my son and daughter both was talking about I used to make so many dishes and I'll let some of them, uh, you know, some of them my son wasn't remembering. My daughter was remembering. I said, maybe I did that well after he went off to college. I thought I did so many. Never thought that I would have ever had to be thinking about uh, you know doing, a, doing videos and trying to remember what I did and what I didn't do and um uh, but anyway just double your recipe because my daughter my son and daughter both of them had like little strange palettes you couldn't use I would always try to choose recipes and stuff that didn't have too much in it because that would kind of be a bust with them. And I, and I got a granddaughter. I think she done kind of grown, grown out of it. The baby, the baby grand, uh, the baby girl. If you put the least amount of black pepper in there, she's always oh, too spicy. Now it's hot. It's too spicy. So um, that's when I would, I would use white uh, pepper when she's around. get the flavor in there. Okay, this is about I'm just gonna brown it up because once I drain it and mix this stuff in it, you're gonna put it directly in your baking dish. Now I got a uh, this is about a uh, probably about a two quart casserole dish. I don't know. I think I said it in the other video. I have another video I haven't put up yet, and I don't know which one y'all will get first. When I went, I was up to my son and daughter's law place over the weekend, and my son asked me, I said, Mom, do you feel up to fixing up onion rings for me? I said, sure. I said, I'll show you whatever, because he was, he was like, I want to, you know, he wanted to do some himself, so we got in the kitchen. Because my grand, my uh, baby granddaughter, she loved a big breakfast. Breakfast, and since uh, this was her great, uh, her great grandmother had passed, and I knew they probably gonna be a little sad, so I had already told them, Miss Amanda gonna fix it. We gonna have a big breakfast. I'm spending the night. She like, yay! So I spent the night and I fixed. We did the big breakfast, and I did uh, onion rings. I got them started for my son before we left to come back home because it's about a um, four hour drive. Okay, I'm going to take this over and drain it. And then I'm going to come back and just mix this up for you guys. I got all the pink out. <laughs> I think I showed you, uh, showed in another video, looking out again for my younger people, how to, how I drain my ground beef. You know, I told you I drain it in that, in a colander or screen or whatever, and I drain it off over into a bowl. And when that grease cooled down, like it's going to cool down now, and I got this here can I'm going to have, I'm going to pour that down oil in the can. And usually I have plenty of them little grocery bags. I'll tie it off in that and put it in my garbage can. I always taught my daughter and my son both when they went out to college how to dispose of, you know, the old oil and, and, uh, and, fat from ground beef and the meat or something. I said, don't y'all go up there putting that stuff down the people uh drain and and uh stop it up. Okay, I'm gonna put 
Okay, I'm going to drain this uh, hamburger. Red ground beef. Get the run off on the stove on the dish right now. Excuse me, give her my I'm in the way. I got no bit. I was trying to get that oil off of that so it won't be so hard to clean with the burner. I mean, when I put it back on the burner. See, I had my little small uh, screen since it wasn't that much. And, uh, so all your fat drain off in this bowl. I'm going to put the ground beef back in there. Once you get it in there, that's when you throw the mix and up the rest of the ingredients. Sprinkle this little pepper and salt first. Put that out the way. This your uh, W sauce. <laughs> Ketchup. You can cut the stove off while you're doing it, but I don't. I mean, cut the burner off. That's when I'm in the kitchen doing and then not doing the video. It get mixed up pretty quickly. And this is your uh, can of uh, uh, tomato soup. Just as easy and simple as that. Now, if you want to fancy it up with something else, go right ahead. But if your kids are like mine and your grandkids are like mine, you cannot go too far with uh, your seasoning in your food until they get older. There's some older ones you can't do too much with your seasoning. And all I'm going to do with this is uh, let it come to a boil. Why that's while I'm getting ready for that to come to a boil. And like I said, I already got my dish right there grease. I'm, uh, I'm going to uh, get ready to show you what I'm going to do with the biscuits. I'm 
my baby granddaughter, she loved to do this. But she like to take a spoon, I just use to take my fingers up the can. But she loved to open biscuits. Okay, I'm gonna go ahead and cut this off because all you got to do is just let it come back to a bowl. No extra. Trying to do it all from here so I won't have to go back over there to do anything. And I'm just gonna start just uh spoon this uh mixture into your uh baking dish. Seasoning. Sit that over there. And you know, I always try to tell you guys to uh, do your uh, seasoning to your taste. That's very, very, very important. with my biscuits. I'm going to cut them in half. These are butter biscuits, but I'm still going to put that butter on the top of it. Okay, what you're gonna do with your biscuits, you're gonna just go around the edge, line them up around the edge of your uh of your meat. Can you remember eating this casserole? Did you like it? Yes, it's been good. <laughs> it sure was. I was wondering, could you remember eating it? Once you get that in, the stove keeps scaring me. I said, Lord, don't let me put my arm on that burner. Okay, then you just take and uh, brush the top of your biscuits. With your butter. I was really glad to share these biscuits with you, uh, with you guys. I mean, share this recipe with you guys. That's when I asked, was you interested in 
something like this because I got the even though you know uh, my love is uh, landmark cooking old school cooking which I feel that all cooking stems from that but um I also you know like to look out for the young people something that um they would like it needed okay now I'm gonna put this in the oven for um 15 minutes and we'll see where we at at 15 minutes and once I get it out at that 15 minutes then we're just gonna sprinkle the cheese right here in the center part of it can you guys see that that's where I'm gonna put the cheese in the center so let me get it in the oven did I tell y'all that I had my dish uh, sprayed with cooking spray did I say that up? you did you know what? I was seeming like I was waiting for the waiting for an answer. Lord help me, Jesus. Okay, you guys. I'll be back in 15 minutes. I'm not gonna hold you on the camera for that. 15 minutes at 400 degrees. Okay, everybody. This is the uh, easy sloppy Joe casserole. And it's ready, and like, and the biscuits did bake 15 minutes, and then once I took it out the oven, then I sprinkled the cheese in the center of it, and the heat from that uh, bubbling uh, ground beef mixture and that what melted. Okay, I'm gonna let my husband uh, get back over in position and move over, and then I'm gonna come over and show. It, it's very hot now, but I'm gonna show you uh, a dish of it served up. Okay, everybody. I don't know if I'm going to use my spatula or what since it's so hot. Get it up. I was serving it up for my daughter. I would have to make sure I got two of the biscuits and stuff up in there. Hmm. We'll get you some meat on the side. Put that up in there. Hold on just a minute. Get you another biscuit. It's piping hot, you guys. Try to get on my finger. And you just, I'm going to push the spikes on. You just serve it up just like that. And uh, you try it. Them little fellas will love this. Let's see, can I turn my biscuit back over? If you had smaller biscuits, you probably would line it, especially if you use uh, 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 extra double the recipe. You would probably um, line it up with, um, you know, the, the smaller biscuits around the edge. But uh, this is the finished product of the uh, Sloppy Joe casserole. And I will see you guys in my next video. Bye.